And welcome back to News On. I want to welcome back our panel. We only have a few minutes remaining, so I want to get your final thoughts on a couple of things. Uh, let's start with you, John Jackson. We'll give each of you about a minute. So we were talking about that prediction from former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, saying that Republicans are headed for an electoral tsunami, as he put it. Uh, your thoughts on that. And also, critical race theory. A lot of people point to the fact that a number of minorities were elected to office, proving that this theory is, in fact, false. What are your thoughts on that? I think the narrative on critical race theory is false. It's not taught in our schools. It's a manufactured crisis to get uh, Republicans elected. Uh, so, no, I don't think uh, the election proves anything about critical race theory because that's about resource. It's really about resources and equity. Um, as far as Newt Gingrich's prediction, President Biden needs to get his agenda passed. He needs to get it going. Uh, if Democrats are going to have a shot, President Biden needs to find a way to get his agenda through the Senate, or it could be a bad midterm for Democrats. All right, Melissa. I don't think whether the critical race theory was one of the biggest issues or not, I don't think there really needs to be that necessarily as an issue. I think this was a tough election for anyone that was running the Democratic ticket simply because of the period of inflation that we're in. We're having terrible supply chain issues. We're in a high period of inflation. It's going to continue into 2022. The administration said earlier in the year that was temporary. It is already not temporary. And Jay Powell already has said that's going to continue. While the stock market is rallying, there's still almost 11 million people out of work. And tomorrow we have a huge, huge jobs number out. And we don't know what that's going to be. The vaccine mandates have current unemployment. People are still not back to work. And with all the stimulus checks, it's hard to motivate people to go back to work. I think one of the reasons that Nancy Pelosi is trying to push this stimulus plan through is because they think they're going to lose control in 2022. Otherwise, why push push it through? Why ram it through? Why all the pressure on Manchin? Go through the process. Half the people that are voting for this haven't even read the whole bill and don't even know what's in it. Last word to you, Haven. I'll start with Newt Gingrich. Uh, he predicted a... Um, dramatic victory for Trump, and Trump lost by 7 million. He predicted victory for Romney, and Romney lost by um, about 5 million. So I'm not too concerned about Newt Gingrich's predictions, but uh, I think that there is a case to be made against Democrats right now. I think Melissa made it well, and, and certainly Mr. Jackson also referred to it, um, that they're not passing the president's agenda. The president believes that we need investments in infrastructure, believes we need investment in in health care and in child care, in uh, universal preschools, and to fight global climate change. And there are 48 Senate uh, Democrats that agree with them and two who don't. Unfortunately, the two who don't have the ability to stop it all. And if they stop it all, exactly how are the Democrats going to say, vote for us, we get nothing done? Yeah. Well, kind of reminds me of when Republicans were all in charge and they talked about getting rid of Obamacare, uh, very reminiscent of that. Um, you're referring to uh, Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, obviously holding back on that infrastructure, or not infrastructure, but the reconciliation spending package, despite the president lowering that price tag from $3.5 trillion down to $1.75 trillion. Again, they're expected to vote on that tomorrow. We're going to continue to watch that. Panelists, I'm sorry we ran out of time. I love doing it. Uh, Melissa, you held your own today. Really do appreciate it. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> we can you hold are on. a New Yorker. And it shows. You did. You definitely did. Thank you all. Appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. So, yes, we're still going to uh, continue to monitor that situation. Uh, when it comes to the infrastructure bill, uh, will it or will it not happen? They've been talking about it for months. The Democrats believe that this is being reflective in our elections that we just saw happen on Tuesday, that they aren't getting enough done and people are lashing back. Others would argue uh, a different reason, that that's not the direction where Americans want to go. And this is a re referendum on the president's policies. What do you think? You can always weigh in by letting us know. Hashtag share your voice. Find me at Real Miranda Khan. Speaking of your voice, there are a lot of issues facing our country today. Which one do you consider to be the most important? Find out what most of you had to say coming up next when News On returns. We'll be right back. <laughs>